Hi, kids. Welcome back. Today is week 33, day two. And our highlight verse is Mark 9, 23 through 24. Let's look at it in the King James Version first in our Bibles. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straight away, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. Mark 9, 23 through 24. Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for the one who believes. Right away, the boy's father cried out, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Mark 9, 23 through 24. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. That is very, very heartbreaking for a father to be crying out because his son is hurting. He's a grown man now. But he had been sick since he was a child at birth. And a dumb spirit had been in him, a bad spirit that made him foam at the mouth and gnash at the teeth and um, hurt himself. So the father could never help him. But Jesus came and gave him hope. And he said, Jesus you know, please heal my son. He brought him before the disciples and the disciples couldn't help, couldn't cast out the spirit. But Jesus came and he said, believe. And he said, I do believe. But where I still have unbelief, please help me. A father brought a son who could not speak to see Jesus. The father trusted Jesus to heal his son. Jesus healed the boy because of the father's faith. So where the father had some faith, it was enough. Because the father also said, help me with my unbelief. Sometimes we can believe just a little bit. And that's all it takes. So remember, like faith, like a mustard seed. That's all it takes. A mustard seed is teeny, teeny, teeny. So a man brought his son to Jesus for healing. The boy could not speak. Jesus told the man that everything is possible for the one who has faith in him, the faith in Jesus. And Jesus healed the boy so God would be glorified and more people would have faith in him. So all the people that saw it, they were like, wow, and now they have faith in Jesus, right? And God was glorified. Amen. Okay, so our activity today has a little quiz or a little uh, graph there for us to decode. So I'll put that up on the screen for you. You can do it in your book, so you can do it um, in your journal or on a piece of paper and um, help answer this question or fill out this statement. Following Jesus means we must blank him. Fill in the blank. And here's my answer. So that means following Jesus means we must trust him. Great job. Now let us respond in prayer. Oh, Father Jesus, please help me to have faith in you always. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. Luke 14, 27, King James Version. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me, cannot be my disciple. Luke 14, 27. 
the NIRV version, whoever doesn't carry their cross and follow me can't be my disciple. Luke 14, 27. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. See you next time.